Batten down the hatches, young'un. There'll be a storm tonight. Well, the radio said it was clearing up. Oh, radio. I feel it in my knees. My knees never lie. Guess what, Mrs Bird? We found a bear. Uh-huh. A real bear from Peru. Oh, well, that's nice, dear. You don't seem very surprised. Oh, I gave up being surprised when they came up with the microwave oven. And I still don't trust you. You just don't get it, do you? What? This family needed that wee bear every bit as much as he needed you. There. Said my piece. Would you like a wee nip of antifreeze for the old pacemaker? No. No, no, no. Not while I'm on duty. Oh. Too strong for you, huh? Oh. Fighting so. OK. Well, I'm one. <laughs> nice try, bear. Ah! Ah! The cruises! Mrs. Bird! What? Hey! Why didn't you look where you're going? I shut your pie hole. Oh, it's Phoenix Buchanan, dad's celebrity client. Oh. He's one of our Platinum Club members <laughs> and a very <laughs> famous <laughs> actor. <laughs> or used to be. <laughs> now he just does dog food commercials. <laughs> Mrs. Bird doesn't like him because he can never remember her name. Very good. Now, your name is. Paddington Brown. Oh, well, of course it is. You are my new neighbour. You live with Henry and Mary and the great Mrs... Now then, I... He's right. Well, I believe you, Mary. Actors are some of the most evil, devious people on the planet. Are they? They lie for a living. Craigie. If we're going to catch one... Yes. We're going to need a foolproof plan. Phoenix Buchanan. Mrs. Burr? Oh, so now you remember me. Well, I never. The cavalry. An old crone, a little girl, and an insurance man. <gasps> what am I going to do? I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Hmm? I'm going to blooming well biff you on the nose. Not a very good idea. <laughs> Stage combat, level four. Well, where I come from, laddie, they teach you never to bring a knife to your gunfight. I think you'll find that fires plastic darts. So it does. Whereas this sword looks very sharp. 